Students, their whānau, Mr. Richie and the senior management team, teachers, staff and respected guests. Once again we meet to celebrate the successful pursuit of excellence at Massey High. For everyone sitting on the stage, and especially my fellow board members, this is a highlight of our Massey year. You students provide the ultimate proof that the small part that we play as a board is adding value to your educational life. The board acknowledges that through both your and your teachers' dedication, hard work and sacrifice, you have been able to fulfil Massey High's motto, Seek the Heights. The board would also like to thank all those parents and volunteers who gave time to assist in coaching and other areas such as fundraising at the school. It is a better place for your students because of you giving your time. At a board level, we tend to look at figures, assess percentages and analyse the results of your work to judge if the school and its initiatives are leading you in the right direction. These numbers are collected, crunched and provided to us by Dr Smith. And I'd like to tell you a little story about how amazing Sam is at her work. Just before the election, we had a visit from Hikia Parata, the Minister of Education. And the discussion turned to data collection and analysis and a particular problem the government was having in one area. Ms Parada told us the Ministry had not been able to even come close to providing her with a satisfactory solution. 
Not so our Dr. Smith, who quickly brought it onto the screen her solution to the problem, stating that while it wasn't perfect yet, it was pretty good. What's a bet that one day this will be a standard part of the education system, like so many other initiatives started at Massey High and now stand in the many schools? Anyway, back to my point that the board looks at the overall picture. I often think how lucky the teaching staff are, as, unlike us, they get to interact with so many of you on a one-to-one -one personal level. Their dedication and expertise has such a positive effect on your lives. I know it gives them tremendous satisfaction, especially if you were one of their tougher assignments in the early years, and are now here tonight receiving an award. They get to know you and understand you, and see you progress through your five years at Massey High. Our principal, Mr Ritchie, has now led the school for 21 years and has created a cultural success that this year has again produced many champions and leaders in so many areas. This is what tonight is about, you and your successes. These are numerous, at the top of so many levels. We have champions in the sports, there's New Zealand reps and many other areas. The arts, we have a head boy who is a lead violin in the Auckland Youth Orchestra. Culture, our Kapa Haka group, made it to the final eight for their first entry into the competition. Dance, we had an amazing result with seven students received scholarships from the Melbourne Dance School. And this is after this dance school visited classes all through New Zealand and awarded no other scholarships. In academia, we supplied the New Zealand winner of the Brain Bee and the New Zealand runner up of the Spelling Bee from the school. And there's so many awards and so many things. In fact, I went onto the internet and looked at the old newsletters and printed a lot of them out. I go on and on and on and on. Over the year, I guess I've signed about 1,500 certificates of congratulations which awarded the students for their endeavours. But there's so many of them. But there's one that has a special mention that I want to talk about tonight. As you may or may not know, Mr Ritchie's number one sport, number one passion after education is his passion for golf. Mr Ritchie travelled to Taupo this year to watch and support our golf team compete in New Zealand Secondary Schools Championships. After a terrible first round, they didn't give up, they fought back. And hole by hole, they beat the school that had won the previous two years. I'm sure this gave Mr Ritchie one of his best farewell presents he could ask for. This was going to be his last chance as principal at Massey High to watch him and he told me he wasn't going to miss it. He wasn't disappointed. I'm sure you're all well aware that Mr Ritchie is retiring at the end of this year and we're all saddened but extremely appreciative of his extensive time and effort he has put into the school to make it so great. I don't want to dwell on this tonight as there are many opportunities in the coming weeks to honour this man and the part he's played in the school. He's leaving a strong legacy and has built a fantastic foundation for the future. Sadly, also retiring was Robert Mahari, Bruce's PA for 21 years, and the previous PAs for a further eight years. 29 years of the service is an amazing feat, and Robert's efforts have played a big part in the school's success. We all know the cliche, behind every great man there's a great woman, except Robin wasn't behind. She's been at the forefront for many years. I wish him go for many happy years of retirement. On a happy note, the school has had a very good year, and just to back up proof of how successful the school is, because of the work of Bruce, Robin, and all the teachers and staff, we had an education review audit this year. The report was magnificent, and for the second time in a row, Massey High was awarded a five-year review cycle, some given only to exceptional schools, the ones in the top 12% in New Zealand. So I think the staff and Bruce deserve a round of applause for that. Our Trades Academies are flourishing, offering another opportunity for our students to succeed. And this year we saw the completion of the Food Technology Block. It seems so long ago, even though it was just last year, that Mr Jones was hammering home the point to some visiting ministry staff that even though this option was more expensive than a few prefabs, it was the best option for the school. He was right. Next year we will see the completion of a better staff room, the old one being removed to make room for some new classrooms, and the revamp of the area in front of the school's hall. For half of you students here tonight, this is your final year at Massey High. It's time to go on to bigger things, and time to continue your education at a different level, no matter where you're heading. Never stop wanting to learn. Duty, as my wife says to me, is not a word used enough these days. Well, it is a word that's not used enough these days. I think she is correct. 
When you leave, you have duties to fulfil in your life. You have a duty to be the best you can. You have a duty to look out for your family and friends. You have a duty to the wider community. And you have a duty to make this world a better place. But for us board members and I, I'm sure, and I'm sure the all staff here, you have a duty not to forget your years at Massey High and the people that played such an important part in your education. The best way you can show appreciate to all those involved in the education, from your parents to far now, through to all your teachers to go out to full duty number one, be the best you can be. You've proved here tonight that you're already on the road to success. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Grelja. I now call on our principal, Mr. Ritchie, to give his address. Kia ora tato and welcome to the 2014 Senior Prize Giving, the 46th prize giving in the history of this school. Special welcome to students, prize winners, your parents, our staff, to Mr. Garalja, the members of the board, and thank you, Mr. Garalja. He's already read out half of my speech. So this will be much, much shorter, I can assure you. I'd like to acknowledge the Mason High School Foundation, special invited guests, the many sponsors, and the providers of scholarships this evening, who will be awarding over $200,000 worth of scholarships to our students. Congratulations to the prize winners. You've worked hard. You deserve all the accolades that come your way this year. I would like to mention some of the highlights. It was great for me to come back this year and find that we had the best ever NCEA results at all levels one, two, and three that the school has ever had. And I want to acknowledge the students for that and many of them here, obviously, and the staff for all the extra work such as booster days, tutorials, mentoring, and so on, and summer school, and the list goes on. So that is a fantastic achievement. Two of our students this year in the top 100 junior maths competition in New Zealand. Mr. Grouch has mentioned the Brain Bee and the Spelling Bee competitions, where two of our junior students Second in New Zealand in spelling, first in the North Island in the Brain Bee, who will now go to Australia to compete against the Australians and on to the World Championships. So that was Nicholas Condal for the Brain Bee and Russell Eskelson for the Spelling Bee. He's only in year nine. He's the second best speller in New Zealand. I'm really proud of the vocational academies and the vocational pathways. What we are offering students are pathways to their future, which is an important uh, policy of this government. We're pleased to open our new food technology building, and I concur with Mr. Garalja, the Education Review Office report was fantastic. In the sporting arena, we have 21 New Zealand representatives or national champions so far this year. I want to acknowledge Geoffrey Kelly, who's the world champion in kickboxing, in his age group. His sister got a bronze medal. These achievements for these 21 New Zealand reps cover area sports such as softball, netball, athletics, golf, cycling, trampolining, taekwondo, kickboxing, rugby, figure skating, and basketball. We don't very often get team New Zealand championships, so I will say I was really proud of that golf prize. It was absolutely fantastic. And I enjoyed watching Harper Cookie play rugby for New Zealand schools and scoring two tries against the Australians and the Fijians. The arts and culture prosper. Seven groups at Polyfest. Kapahaka had a particularly good year. They finished fifth overall in the top, top uh, division. They were third for the male leader and they were first for Haka. And as Mr. Garrell just said, they made the finals of, for the New Zealand competition where they finished eighth. Now, Mono Karanoa speech competition, these are highly competitive. I want to acknowledge Kalani Pifarangi Chan, first in Auckland, 
senior boys in Pontu and prepared speeches in Te Reo Māori, and Stasia Tongatuli, first in Auckland senior girls in Pontu speech in English. I'd like to acknowledge our chamber music group, who were finalists and won the best newcomers award in New Zealand. Our vocalist, Alaphon, you've heard singing tonight. He was the best vocalist at the Pacifica Beats competition, and his friend, Louise, the best <coughs> instrumentalist. And in the Rock Quest competition, Bridie Lang and her sister, Rita, won an award for the best original song. But then along came Romeo and Juliet to Massey High School. And what a difference that was. I've never seen a Romeo on crutches. <laughs> but he managed to get through even on the balcony. So well done, Sam. But what a great presentation playing to full houses each year, each, each night, sorry. I would like to mention what this auditorium has done in bringing people to our school. The Brian Heron Fazioli series for the University of Auckland's top pianists who have now come and played seven concerts in this auditorium. I'd also like to acknowledge no school in New Zealand would have Michael Houston and Dane Malvina Major playing at their school in the same year. That was fantastic to have those people here. I do want to acknowledge too the dark students and their scholarships to the Edge Performing Arts School in Melbourne. I'd also like to acknowledge a highlight for me was watching Sun Min in the talent quest lip syncing. <laughs> what a fantastic entertainment that was. Something of a feature of this school has become overseas tours. So far this year, our students have travelled to France, Japan, China, Hawaii, Las Vegas, and India. India is yet to come. I want to acknowledge the Hawaiian trip, which was for our bilingual mathematics group, who, in partnership with the University of Auckland Faculty of Education, have developed a flipped learning model in their classroom. They were asked to go to the World Conference for People in Education, for Indigenous Peoples in Education, to Hawaii to present. That was a fantastic achievement. Educationally, we have a fantastic system. The government's new initiative, policy, investing in educational success, I think is an excellent model. I like the idea of schools working together, sharing best practice. If we want to address the educational disadvantage in our system in New Zealand, we have to work together. So I think that's a great initiative. Finally, my thanks. My thanks to students, our student leaders, Sungman, Dana, Hamish and Samsara, our head prefects. I want to acknowledge the staff. All the research says the most effective factor of education are the teachers in the classroom. And without their input, we would never have the results we have. I want to thank the support staff, the senior management, Mrs. Mihaini, the Board of Trustees, the Massey High School Foundation. I want to thank the Massey community, the many sponsors and community coaches who come and coach our sports. There are some staff retiring this year. I just want to thank them. Miss Douglas, after 31 years at Massey High School. As you know, Mrs. Meheide, after 28 years. Mrs. Moodley, after 25 years. Mrs. Nile, after 19. Mr. Copeland, after 14 years. Mr. Fraser after 11, and Mrs. Hutana, who's got a promotion to the head of science at Mount Hutt College, where during the winter, every Wednesday afternoon, the whole school goes up Mount Hutt for skiing practice. I think she's looking forward to that. I would like to thank Mrs. Mihaidi, who's been my PA for 21 years. She must have thought, what was this person coming along here 21 years ago? But she stuck with me. And I thank you for that, Mrs. Mihaidi, for your wonderful work that you've done for me over those 21 years. I couldn't have done it without you. I want to um, also acknowledge that this is my last year at Massey High School. I think it has been a privilege to have led a school like Massey High School. And I want to thank the Board of Trustees that appointed me in the beginning. 
I'd like to acknowledge Mrs. Richie Yen, who's now retiring as the spouse of a principal, <laughs> where she eats alone at home many, many nights. And thank you for your support. She might be thinking I'm home too much after this, I don't know. <laughs> but anyway, congratulations to everyone. Uh, have a happy Christmas, a prosperous new year, and a wonderful life ahead especially to these wonderful students here. Thank you. Sketcher, third in Classical Studies 201, third in Geography 201, Waitakere Trust Award for Diligent Classroom Effort, prize donated by the Trusts. 12 APA, Lisa Beach, first in Classical Studies 201, first in Health 201, second in English 200. Gordon Heath, first in Chemistry 301, first in English 200, second in Statistics 301. Whitney Hinton, first in Fabric Technology 201, prize donated by the department. Jasmine Hopperos, first in Tourism 203, third in Mathematics 201.
Bay Senior Matteo Luna, first in History 202, prize donated by department. Twelve KJM Nathaniel Lewis, first in Business and Computing Academy. Annie Way, first in Art 201. Twelve KNX Eric Williams, first in Physical Education 201, first in Science 201. Shakira Zakiri, first in Geography and History semester course, prize donated by department, contribution to Student Council, prize donated by Recreational Services Limited. Alicia Fowler, first in Drama 201. Construction 203, prize donated by White Cliffs Timber Limited. Sinead Townley, first in French 201, second in English 201. Ivy Wong, first in Digital and Visual Communications 201, prize donated by National Art Supplies Limited. PSL, Denise Davies, second in Dance 201, Excellence in Choreography Award, Year 12 Dance. Bye bye, Denise. Jessie Garia Thompson, first in Maori Performing Arts. Alifon Tawariki, third in Dance 201, third in Mathematics 213, Sly's Pianos Cup, <coughs> Outstanding Performer in Year 12, prize donated by Sly's Pianos. Jade Kipkat, first 
in Art 202, First in Art Photography 201. Paul Gilmore, First in Gateway Year 12. TGT, Lee Harris, First in Carpentry Academy. Roche Lamatoa, First in Dance Academy, Year 12. Twelve TMI, Kate McCulloch, First in Food Technology 201, First in Geography 201, Prize donated by the department. Sung In Park, first in Art Design 201, third in Design and Visual Communications 201. Wei Yap, first in Business 201.
13 AMA. Donnell Anderson, First in Science, 302. Paige Jensen, First in Economics, 301. Sam Peel, First in Food Technology, 301. First in Hospitality Academy. Renee Sundru, First in Art Photography, 301. Second in Business, 301. Second in Media Studies, 301. Drew Young, First in Computer Science, 301. Prize donated by department. 13 ARR. Nicola Beard, First in Biology, 302. Third in Business, 301. Sarafina Pangana Sime Afamasana, Leadership in Pacific Island Culture. Thirteen AVS, Michelle Shu, First in History, 302, prize donated by department. Awara Award, a contribution to senior health education. Lindley Stout, first in Hospitality Academy, Year 12. 13 AVW, Amish Ray Latui, first in Hard Materials Workshop, 303. 301. Maya Bellingham, first in geography, 301, prize donated by department. Matthew Brook, first in science, 301. <coughs> Jacob Collins, first in classical studies, 301, prize donated by department. <coughs> Nina Dyer, first in Art History, 301. Kata Tatana, Excellence in Dance Award, for excellence in performance and in contribution to dance. Anna Vardy, first in Fabric Technology, 301, prize donated by department. 13 KSH. Liam Kelly, first in Computer Studies, 303. 13 AVK, Renika Anarithan, third in Mathematics with Calculus, 301, third in Statistics, 301, Chris Carter Cup for Environmental Leadership, prize donated by Lady Enterprise Limited. Amy Harborough, first in Mathematics, 302. Sorry, Mirawai School. 13, India. Lauren Black, first in Health, 301, third in Science, 301. Matthew Ditchburn, Madeline Gun Cup for debating. Lucas Gann, first in Physics, 301, second in Accounting, 301. John Key Cup from Community Awareness. The Merriman Cup for involvement in mathematics outside the classroom, pros donated by Mr. and Mrs. Merriman, 100% attendance for five years. <laughs> Second in Dance Academy. 
In Su Huang, 100% attendance for five years. <laughs> Song Min Jun, first in music studies, 301, prize donated by department, first in statistics, 301, second in biology, 301, second in making music, 301, third in classical studies, 301, prize donated by department. <laughs> Sly's Piano's Cup, <laughs> outstanding performer in year 13, prize donated by Sly's Pianos, 100% attendance for five years. <laughs> Third in Geography 301, in the Shine Sisters Cup, the top female scholar in science. Bridie Lang, first in English 301, third in Making Music 301, the Sylvia Moodley Award for top year 13 English student. Hyuk Lee, first in Making Music 301, prize donated by department, 100% attendance for five years. First in Media Studies, 301. Second in English, 301. Third in Biology, 301. <coughs> Catherine Webb, first in Biology, 301. Second in Music Studies, 301. Piano Traders Award, the Senior Composer of the Year. Prize donated by Piano Traders. Shannon Yates, first in art painting, 301, third in art and history, 301. 13 MGO, Candice Barry, third in art, 301, the Lynn Pillay Cup for peer support. Hannah Cooper, first in Spanish, 301. Anna Hagen, first in tourism, 303. <coughs> Ken Tupo, first in coaching, 303. <coughs> Judah Thayer, first in geography, 302, prize donated by department. Classroom effort, prize donated by the trusts. Ashley Harris, first in child development 301, third in food technology 301. Early childhood education level three, endeavor, engagement, and empathy training. Luke Horn, first in business and computing academy, prize donated by Author Academy, first in mathematics 323. Second in English, 203. Brandon Lunny, the Denny Brown Trophy for Excellence in the Performing Arts, prize donated by department. Felicia Nimaya Endeavour Award for Outstanding Attitude and Conscientious, conscientious Effort in the Gateway Program. <laughs> <laughs> Alex.
Erdogan. That's right. Algevan Richmond. First in Dance Academy, second in Dance 301, third in Art Painting 301. Shinal Singh. First in English 303, second in Digital Technology Information 301, third in Biology 302. Torito Nanua, Nyla Hansen Trophy for perseverance and commitment to the Hospitality Academy. First in Digital Technology Information 301, prize donated by department. Second in Art Photography 301. Ayla Kret, first in Automotive Academy Year 13, prize donated by David Alder 2001 Limited. Marquino Pauling, first in Sports Academy 301, prize donated by Club Physical. 13 PSR. Michaela Elwood, first in French 301, second in Classical Studies 301, prize donated by department. The Diana Moorhead Cup for Creative Writing, the De Crevossier Cup for Oral French. Michaela is also a finalist in the Moving Words and Normal Literacy Translation Prize for New Zealand Secondary Schools, and her French to English translation has already been chosen as the best. We look forward to learning what top prize Michaela will receive at the prize giving at Victoria University in December. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Maddie Green, first in accounting 301, second in geography 301. Tupo Tuanaki, first in physics, 302. 13 PVG Kanakuan Lekatai Hospitality Cup, a contribution to hospitality and catering. Joshua Little, second in Hospitality Academy, the Agile Barista Cup for excellence in barista training and service. Totoa Sa Utaiana, first in Samoan 301. 13 TTA. Makaila Atta, first in Fashion Academy, prize donated by department, second in Fabric Technology 301. Jessica Hunter, first in Dance 301, third in Dance Academy. <coughs> Lydia Rabon, first in Physical Education 301. Shelley Waddams, first in Drama 301, First in Drama Academy, Kathy Gilmore Award for Contribution to Drama, prize donated by department. 13 TTU, Bethan Bulldog, first in Gateway, Year 13. 13 TWW, Chantal Druid, first in Māori Performing Arts, second in Child Development, 301. Good evening, everyone. 
My name is Colin Riseborough, and it is my pleasure, along with Dr. Smith and Mrs. Cranston, to announce the names of special award winners for 2014. I invite Mr. Ritchie to go forward to present the first awards. These first awards, the first award is the Colleen Cameron Cup for outstanding contribution in leadership, excellence and service to music, prize donated by Mr and Mrs Garalja, Hyuk Lee, 13 MDO. Stay there, Hewitt, just for a minute. Just while we pull the next award, just stand at the front, thanks. <laughs> and the Colleen Cameron Cup for outstanding contribution in leadership, excellence, and service to dance. Again, presented by Mr. Ritchie, prize donated by Mr. and Mrs. Garalja, Maria Le'Ali, 13 KKS. The next award is the Rewa Selmisi Award for Outstanding Pacific Island Student. And this is Dana, none other than our head girl, Dana Teo, 13 MBO. these special award winners on the stage. We now have two awards for the contribution to Te Ao Māori within the school. These are for those wonderful cloaks that you see over there, which are made and presented by Miss Lisa Smith. The first is the Te Aka Ki Karangi, the boys cloak, Nathan Newton, 13 TWW. Kaharangi, the girls coke, Chrissy Hilton, 13 TWW. The next awards, uh, this is a joint award, the Male Sports Person of the Year, and this is won by, jointly this year by Tej Campbell of 13 AMF and Hapakuki Moalali Abaa of 13 PVG. If you can come up please, Hapakuki, and I just need to let you all know that uh, Tej is unable to attend tonight because of an appointment with New Zealand Golf. <laughs> But I want to read uh, this little piece here, firstly about Tej and then about Hapakuki. Tej Campbell is the captain of the Massey High School senior golf team who are the New Zealand 2014 secondary school golf champions. Tej is the epitome of the quiet achiever, leading a team of dedicated, dedicated golfers to first win the North Harbour Intercollegiate Golf Championship, followed by the stunning result in Taupo to be the best in the country. Golf is the equivalent of a full-time job for Tej as he's involved in a golf-related activity for at least 40 hours every week, including 36 holes and many hours on the driving range, perfecting all the shots required to compete at the highest levels. To list just some of his achievements, 
Taze was the 2010 right through to 2013 stroke play champion at Murawai Golf Club, unable to compete this year because of injury. Taze plays number two for the Murawai men's senior penance team and was leading amateur and seventh overall at a professional event, the Charles Tour uh, Murawai Open. He is a member of the North Harbour men's representative golf team and is ranked as the ninth amateur in New Zealand. Taze represented New Zealand in Australia in the Strixon International Junior Golf Tournament, where he finished 18th and 6th in the Strixon Under-18s category. Taze has now been chosen to compete in the upcoming Greg Norman Junior Masters in December, has also been offered a full golf scholarship at an American university subject to his SAT result. Harper Cookie. Harper Cookie has been a highly respected captain of the Massey High School First 15 for the past two seasons. This year, Cookie's outstanding player in the North Harbour competition was recognised at national level when he was selected for the New Zealand Secondary Schools rugby team at number eight to play against both Fiji and Australia. Cookie was the only North Harbour player to be selected for New Zealand. He scored two tries against Fiji and was the starting number eight for both internationals playing almost every minute of the two games. As well as making the New Zealand Secondary Schools team, Cookie also made the Blues Under-18s team and the North Harbour Under-18s team. Harper Cookie is an inspiration to the students from our school. As a local boy who played his early rugby for Massey Rugby Club, Cookie has continued his rugby career at Massey High School, playing with pride and great distinction. Players of Cookie's calibre are in great demand by other schools in Auckland and around the country who pour huge resources into their players and rugby programs. Harper Cookie's loyalty to Massey High School and his humble approach are highly respected. He has led by example, always putting the team first, and is an inspirational athlete who has a very bright future ahead. Congratulations, Tage and Harper Cookie, Joint Senior Male Sportsman of the Year for 2014. Our Female Sports Person of the Year, prize donated by Lady Enterprises Limited, and I should have mentioned the Male Sports Person of the Year was prize donated by Expert Communications Limited. The Female Sports Person of the Year, Lydia Rippon, 13 TTA. <laughs> Incredibly humble and hardworking. Lydia achieves at everything she sets out to do, and this includes being an outstanding sports captain, always leading from the front, full of ideas, always willing to lend a hand. Lydia was named Female Cyclist of the Year for Massey High School in 2014. She was placed third overall in the New Zealand Secondary School's Individual Cycling Champs, and was one of only six women selected for the Bike NZ Under-19 under women's track team to compete at the Oceania tra Track Champs in September in Adelaide. Lydia was fourth overall at the Australian National Road Cycling Champs held in Canberra in July and was the first New Zealand rider with two of the other riders ahead of her going on to place first and third in world championships. Lydia is an incredibly talented cyclist with astounding endurance, energy and strength punching well above her age and weight, both nationally and internationally. She maintains a fantastic balance in her life. Lydia knows what she wants and has the skill, the knowledge, and the bravery to be a true little ripper. Congratulations, Lydia, Female Sports Person of the Year. award is the Principal's Award for Overcoming Adversity. And the, the award this year goes to Lindley Stout of 13 ABS. 
Just a few things to read about Lindley. In February 2011, Lindley was admitted to Starship Hospital with a gastrointestinal disorder, which meant that she could not swallow any solids or liquids. Anything that passed Lindley's lips was promptly regurgitated. She spent lengthy periods in hospital as she underwent numerous tests to find a cure. Eventually, Lindley was given a permanent feeding tube in her stomach, so food and nutrients were fed directly by that means. Lindley often had to miss school as she had to be hospitalised to rehydrate. Despite this, Lindley continued with her education during that time through the Northern Health School. Even through these difficult times, Lindley enrolled in the Hospitality Academy where her interest in food grew. Despite not being able to taste any of the food that she prepared, Lindley proved herself very talented in this area. Lindley's passion is food and baking, and she has a heart firmly set on opening up her own cafe in the future. When the French trip was announced, Lindley began making chocolate brownies and homemade gifts which she sold at school to raise funds. We're pleased to say that Lindley's health has now improved to the point that she is able to taste her wonderful baking. Despite all the difficulties that she has experienced, Lindley has faced them with admirable determination. She should be proud of what she has achieved, and we wish her well as she pursues her dreams. Congratulations, Lindley, on receiving the Principal's Award for Overcoming Adversity for 2014. Next award, the Student Support Services Award, the Kevin Hedawini Award, presented by Mr. Ritchie, prize donated by Progressive Enterprises Limited, Ethan Broughton, 13 TWW. <laughs> Over the past five years, Ethan has developed into a strong character and a leader amongst his peers. As an incoming year nine student, Ethan faced a number of challenges. He struggled with the transition to secondary school, but with strong mentors leading him, he was able to refocus and turn his secondary school years into a story of success. Ethan deserves this award for his commitment, application, persistence, and determination to succeed. Congratulations, Ethan. Thank you, Mr. Ritchie. We now come to the Dean's Awards for Excellent Citizenship to be presented by the Deans, firstly, Anafata. And these will be presented to stu two students from each school. Firstly, for Anafata, Whitney Henton, 12 APA, Angus Ross, 13 AVS. Perhaps if you two wait at this side of the stage, and have all the others come up and stand together for Kari Kari. This is a relay race. Kari Kari School. Varshan Petty and a 12 KNX and Caitlin Hall 13 KKS.
Thank you, Cody County Deans. What do I? What do I, Deans? And the award winners for Murawai are Naima Vave, 12 MML, and Brandon Lunny, 13 MPT. Piha School. The award, the Dean's Awards for Piha School go to Samantha Elwood, 12 PKX, and Josh Ward Donnellan, 13 PSR. go to Nikita Welch, 12 TNI, and Scott Jackson, 13 TNY. to the deans for presenting those awards and congratulations to the deans and deans for some excellent service. Just finally from me, I need to announce the school cup. And this cup is competed for by the five schools during the year in a number of areas of school life. The results are, and I've been told to read all five, so I'll start with fifth place, fifth place, Murawa. Fourth place, Anafata. Third place, Tehinga. Second place, Piha. And first place, Kari Kari. Mr. Paul, Mr. Taylor. Mr. Wilson, please. Mr. Wilson, come up with any more. Of all the internal credits he has earned, nearly two-thirds have been at the excellence level. 
He's already gained his NC level qualification <coughs> this year, and in the up and coming exams, will almost certainly earn the few credits required for him to gain an excellence endorsement. Sebastian is a talented musician, placing first overall in Music 201, and is described as having an impressive and thorough knowledge of music and as being a capable and poetic performer. He's also learning German, which he studies largely independently through the correspondence school. His other subjects are physics and computer science. This year he was, has also taken part in the Law Bowls, Orienteering and Petong teams. Sebastian has acquired a multitude of talents and managers to shine in the them. He thoroughly deserves the award for all round excellence. She has an incredibly positive approach to academic study. She takes responsibility for her own learning, showing determination and dedication. However, Leslie is more than just an academic. She is a sensible and trustworthy and has a responsible attitude in dealing with people and problems which she encounters. Always well-mannered and respectful, Leslie is a lovely young woman who has been a member of many school clubs and who takes an active role in school groups that are focused on improving the school through the student voice. She fulfilled her role as a silver badge prefect this year with pride and she discharged her duties with a deep sense of responsibility. She epitomizes the Massey High School values of excellence, equity, integrity, respect and community and is a worthy recipient of the Board of Trustees Award. Congratulations. Scholarships. A number of tertiary institution and trust organisations provide monetary awards for our students for their study in 2015 and beyond. We are extremely grateful this is for this assistance in helping our students onto the next stage of their education. I will present these awards in groups according to the institution who are providing the award. So first of all, I'd like to call the following students to the side of the stage. Sung Ming Jung, Dana Taylor, Leslie Kong, Yuk Lee, Catherine Webb of 13MDO, and Rachel Ma of 13PSR. I'd now like to invite Ken Rapson to present the scholarship awards from the University of Auckland. Mr. Rapson is the director of the school's partnership office. So, the first award, the University of Auckland Scholarship. This scholarship pays all fees for three years, plus an additional 2,500 a year, and also provides academic mentoring for the first year. This scholarship is awarded to recognize and reward academic excellence, all-round ability, and the leadership potential. The recipient of this award is Sung Min Jun. <laughs> Lee. 
Rachel Miller. And Catherine Webb. Congratulations. Hamish Jeffries, 13 PSR, Amy McCarthy, 13 AMF, and Alana Eversworn of 13 PGA. And I'd like to invite Carol Nawati, Director, Mara Students and Community, and Tricia Louise Priestley Proctor, who is an ex Massey High School student from Unitech, to present the following awards. These scholarships are awarded to students at each partner school. Students are nominated by the school and must have demonstrated both a sound aptitude and attitude for the area of study they intend to undertake. The first award is the Unitech Partner School Scholarship and pays full tuition fees for the, year, the first year in mentoring as, as well as providing students with a Nobu Marai experience. The recipient of this award is Hamish Jeffries. The second award is the Unitech Success Award. The recipients receive an iPad Air, mentoring, the Noko Morai Experience and Career Development Support. The recipients of this award are Amy McCarthy of 13 AMF and Alana Everswan of 13 PGA. Congratulations, and thank you for that. So I'd like to call the following students to the side of the stage. So, um, Zoe Paul of Leet, 13 MDO, Rennie Sundgren, 13 AMF, and Samsara Coley, 13 TTU. I'd like to invite Jenny Bygrave, Head of Strategic Development, Strategy and Planning from AUT University to present the following scholarships. The first award is the Vice Chancellor Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a student who has demonstrated outstanding academic excellence this year. It pays tuition fees for up to three years study at AUT University it's equivalent to approximately $15,000 in total, and it is awarded to Zoe Parlevliet, 13 MDO. The second scholarship is called the Significant Student Scholarship. This scholarship is awarded to a student who has demonstrated leadership within the school and community as well as consistent academic performance. It pays tuition fees for up to three years in study at AUT University. Again, it is equivalent to approximately $15,000 in total. This award goes to Renee Sundgren, 13 <laughs> This scholarship is awarded to a student wishing to study business with a high level of academic achievement. They demonstrate in leadership and are, have role model potential. Pays tuition fees for up to three years of study at AUT University and is equivalent to approximately 15,000 in total. This scholarship goes to Samsara Kohli, 13 <laughs> Congratulations, students, and thank you. Right, if I can ask the following students to come to the stage Bridie Lamb, Maddie Green, Matthew Ditchburn, and Andy No, please.
we're going to ask Mr. Flyger to present this award for the first award as he's a graduate of Otago University. And the first um, scholarship is from Otago University. It's the Young Leaders of Tomorrow Scholarship. This scholarship selection is based on academic achievement and leadership demonstrated through school sporting, cultural and community involvement. This scholarship is worth $5,000. The Young Leaders of Tomorrow Scholarship goes to Bridie Lang. Sia Sia, an associate from PricewaterhouseCoopers, to present the PricewaterhouseCoopers Foundation Scholarship. <coughs> the winner of this scholarship will receive study assistant valued at $7,000 over the first four years of their degree and will be giving mentoring, mentoring support. They'll be able to develop valuable business relationships and networks and have the opportunity to work as a summer intern for one summer break. The recipient of this award is Maddie Green. I'd just like to add that Maddie and Courtney have the, the choice of attending this ceremony or the actual um, Price Waterhouse Coopers Scholarship event this evening, and they chose this one. So thank you very much for attending. The next award. Um, is the Smith & Partners Law Scholarship. So I'd like to ask Wade Hansen, who is an ex-Massey High School student, to present this award. This scholarship is awarded annually to students from West Auckland Secondary Schools to assist with the first year of fees at a New Zealand university. The recipient of this award is Matthew Ditchburn, 13 MDO. representing the Waitakere Rotary Club to present the next award, which is the John Ritchie Memorial Scholarship. This scholarship is valued at $500 and is given to a deserving student who will be continuing their studies. This award has been donated by Waitakere Rotary Club and the recipient of this award is Andy No, 30 <laughs> of the Waitakere Licensing Trust, and she'll be also presenting the next set of awards. These are the Trust Community Foundation Scholarships. So can I ask the following students to come to the stage, please? Lee Harris, Harley Kaponga, Isaac Kavanagh, Ni'i Lai, Salakili Manukia, and Sam Peel. These are non-degree scholarships with $2,500 towards tertiary fees. So Lee Harris. Harley Kapoor. Isaac Kavanagh. Nei Lee. Salakili Manukia. Sam Peel. Congratulations. <laughs> now, if I could ask the following students to come up, please Renuka Anurifan, Lauren Black, Shail Charan. Anna Cooper, Michaela Elwood, Chantal Hunter, Paige Jensen, Jensen, sorry, Brandon Lunny, Zoe McEwen, Morgan Smith, Ariana Southworth, and Shannon Yates. 
So these students are going to be presented with a degree scholarship with $4,000 towards their tertiary freeze. So Ranuka, are you with them? Lauren Black. Shayal Charan. Anna Cooper. Michaela Elwood. Chantelle Hunter. Paige Jensen. Brandon Lunny. Zoe McEwen. Morgan Smith. Ariana Southworth. <coughs> and Shannon Yates.
Father Riva Titan, Faculty Leader of Māori, and also I'd like to invite Whailisa Smith to come down and present the John Tokiato Award, and the recipient for this award is Chrissy Hilton, 13TWW.
Please give them another round of applause. The next three awards recognise staff and appearance. I would now like to invite Mr. Grouger to announce these awards. Mr. Grouger. And Dr. Sheets. So the Smart Travel Award, the Staff Travel Award was established in 1996 and named after Terry Smythe, who was a board chair for 11 years from 1977 to 1987. Success, successful recipient is chosen from the current chair and deputy chair, well, chosen by, not from, chosen by the current chair and deputy chair of the Board of Trustees from several nominations made by the senior management of the school. The criteria include excellent classroom teaching, participation in professional development and contribution to the wider life of the school. The travel award is worth $5,000 and in the past, recipients have travelled to the United States, Australia, Wales, Canada, England and Europe. This year's award goes to a person who... She was supposed to read it, but she hasn't got her glasses. <laughs> This year's award goes to a young man who has developed into a very talented middle leader. When he left school himself, he completed a commerce degree but found the world of accounting and finance not to his liking. So he completed another degree in sports and recreation, then trained as a health and physical education teacher. In the eight years he has been teaching, he has risen to the head of the department and factory leader, where he has instituted a number of changes and developed a very effective team around him. His extracurricular involvement in the school has included the teacher in charge of touch and rugby coaching, who is currently the head coach of our first 15 rugby team. He's a very humble man who has, as a past Bassey High School student, wears his massive pride on his sleeve. Please join me in congratulating the Life Travel Award recipient, 2014, Mr. Jono Kauruai. currently a son in year 11. His first daughter has become a primary school teacher and his second daughter is on a scholarship to the University of the USA and is currently a member of the New Zealand Football Ferns. The recipient took the coaching of our girls' first eleven football team in 2008 and he continues to coach them even though his daughters have left school. He has gotten into the Premier Division of the North competition as well as the Lotto Premier Tournament in New Zealand where they have competed successfully since 2009. He's currently very excited with the future of our girls' first 11, as they have so many young players. He also intends to approach this year's team, or his son's team next year. This man runs his own printing business and takes time out every week for practices and games, as well as a whole week for a national tournament. We are indebted to the commitment and dedication of our coaches, and after seven years of coaching, we desire to continue. We have much pleasure in awarding this year's Susan Porter Memorial Community Award to Mr Guy Lee. But, but we want to congratulate him.
a little technical that you run along. <laughs> Right, we found it. This award goes to Mrs. Moodle, who is retiring at, uh, from the school this year, but who's had a wonderful career teaching in South Africa before she came to New Zealand and has taught for 25 years at Asset High School. So we acknowledge that with a gift, a silver gift. Congratulations, Mrs. Moodle. Right, we come to the part of the program where we acknowledge leadership. But first of all, thank you Mr. Peralta and Dr. Shanks um, for presenting those awards and congratulations to Mr. Tala and to Mr. Guy Lee as well. Um, so for this particular award, it's my pleasure to announce the leadership awards for 2014, then to announce the gold badge prefix and head prefix for 2015. So I'd like to call up the 2014 Gold Badge Prefix to stand at the side <coughs> of the stage. All of you please. And I'd like to invite Councillor Linda Cooper to, prevent, to present the certificates. Now when these people have received their awards, we're asking them to stay on stage because they will present the badges to next year's Gold Badge Prefix. I'd just like to say that leadership is a big part of Massey High School. We put a lot of effort into it and we develop, we'd like to think, some outstanding young leaders for the future. I want to acknowledge our head prefects this year, Sung Min Jun and Dana Teo, ably supported by Hamish Jeffries and Samsara Pauli for the great work that they have done. So the first recipients of these awards, head boy Sung Min Jung, head girl Dana Teo, deputy head boy Hamish Jeffries, Deputy Head Girl Samsara Corley, Sports Captain Lydia Ripon and Connor Peden, Arts leaders Carter Tartana and Bridie Lang. And for your information, Carter is one of those $7,000 scholarship winners to Melbourne in dance. Cultural leaders Nathan Newton and Chrissy Hilton. Community leaders, Lucas Gann and Maddie Green. <coughs> Academic leaders, Joe Gasparich and Catherine Webb. Now, congratulations to our Gold Badge leaders. <laughs> and 
now I'm going to announce the 2015 Gold Badge Prefects. And uh, I'm going to start with community leaders. And could these people come forward, please? Quinn Thomas and Whitney Hinton. So this year's community leaders can present them with their badges. I can't see, is that happening? Thank you. Right, the arts leaders for 2015 are Brian Kasmara and Roche Lamatoa. Well done. The sports leaders, Cody Castle and Leah Danger. Cultural leaders, Jonathan Sula and Nazareth Saleh. Academic leaders, Gordon Heath and Kyla Palmer. And now we move into the head prefects. And I'd just like to say at this point, it's very competitive to get these badges. And um, for those who haven't made it this evening, there will be lots of other opportunities for you to display your leadership in our school and get just rewards for that. So the deputy head boy for 2015 is a young man who wants to be an architect or a professional sportsman. Not much difference. <laughs> Played in our first 15 rugby team this year, competes in athletics, is in the Nguyen Culture Group, he's gained NCA Level 1 with merit, was a Year 11 prefect, came to us from Don Buck Primary School. Congratulations, Dorian Billy Amu. <laughs> Here is involved with the animal welfare group, does rhythmic gymnastics, contemporary dance, was in the Brain Bee Challenge, gained NCA Level 1 with excellence, 
including excellence in biology, physics, English, human bio, chemistry, music, and maths. She already has level two, and all her credits this year are with excellence or merit. She has never failed a credit at Massey High School. Came to us from Huapai District School. Congratulations, Sarah Soul. The head boy for 2015 was involved in rugby, basketball, athletics, touch, and is a touch referee. He's participated in open nights and he gives freely to charity. He was a year 11 prefect, gained NCA level one with merit. This year he has 40 credits at excellence level, is on track, is on track for level two with excellence. He also has never failed a credit at Massey High School. He came to us from Ruwai College. Congratulations, Eric Williams. Involved in senior debating the PB4L team, World Vision Global Leadership Challenge, Cuddy Cuddy Senator, captain of her football team, does orienteering, NCA level one and two gained already, 42 credits of excellence this year, president of the school council, came to us from Henderson Intermediate School, came to New Zealand in 2004 from Afghanistan, where she's head girl at Massey High School, Shakira Zahiri. special guests, the board of trustees, parents and caregivers, and of course, my fellow peers. It feels like a lifetime ago that we hesitantly walked through the gates of Massey High School for the first time, and it seems as if the end is drawing near too quickly. Reminiscing of our life at Massey High School, it's hard not to get a little teary-eyed, knowing that for some of us, the place that we have become so familiar and comfortable with, we will soon have to leave behind. Never will we forget the amazing memories made over the past five years, and always will we cherish the friendships we made along the way. The saying is true that it takes a village to raise a child, and so it is fair to ask, where would we be without the people who have nurtured, raised, and moulded us into the individuals that we are today? 
First and foremost, I'd like to give all glory to God for his continued blessing, guidance and unconditional love. I've not near enough time to thank the amount of people who have had a positive impact on my peers and I while on our journey at Massey High. However, I'd like to thank and acknowledge the great visionary, Mr. Ritchie, for your hard work and dedication over the past 21 years and your continual encouraging, encouragement to seek the heights and all that we set our minds to. I want to thank you, the Board of Trustees, as well as the Senior Management for all of the long hours and student support that goes on behind the scenes. It has been a true pleasure working under your leadership and guidance. Thank you to the teachers who continually look past our flaws and imperfections to see our true potential and who make us realise that education is the key to endless amounts of opportunity. To the many deans, level coordinators and supporting staff, thank you for your devotion to making school the platform for student achievement and success. A special thanks goes to our previous new ID, Mrs Skelton, whose contagious positivity and optimism encouraged me to work hard and reach for my goals, no matter how unattainable they may, they may be. To our school mum, Mr Fairley, the motivator who always pushed us to perform at our best, the teacher who couldn't tell a funny joke to save his life, <laughs> the mentor who always believed in us, even when we mucked up, and the comedian who claims he makes kilts look good. Thank you for all that you've done. I've been very blessed to work alongside so many amazing people. Thank you to the leading class of 2014 for making these past five years the best of my life. I would like to acknowledge the Prefect team for their hearts of service to the school. I couldn't have imagined a greater group of people to work with. A huge thanks goes to my Gold Badge family and all of their hard work as well as the laughter, food and experiences we shared. I would especially like to thank our faithful deputies, Hamish for his loyalty to his position and the part he had to play in the team, Samsara, my main girl, for a generous and loving heart, always going beyond the call of duty to ensure that everyone is alright, and to my humble partner in crime, Sunny. Thank you for balancing out my craziness by always being calm, collective and supportive through every challenge we face. It has been a true honour to work with you this year. Last but not least, thank you to my wonderful family for being my rock. Throughout this peculiar stage of my life, people call adolescence. For blessing me with your love and for always encouraging me and equipping me throughout the challenges I face. I will eternally be grateful to Mesa High School for all that I've learned over the past few years and for all the memories that I will take with me as I venture out into the big world. Congratulations to all the prize winners of 2014 and also the Gold Badge team in 2015. I know that you will all have an awesome time working with one another and just make sure to always laugh at Mr. Black, Mr. Philly's jokes, no matter how dry they may be. <laughs> and to take care of your advice. To the students who have had the great privilege of attending next year, if I could leave you with any piece of advice, it would be to own who you are as a unique individual and to be courageous at reaching for and accomplishing your dreams. The biggest lesson that I've learned while at Messick High School is that standing out in life sometimes means standing alone. Whether it be standing for justice, trying something new, or reaching for the dreams that others may label as impossible, I urge you to be courageous, to embrace every challenge and obstacle that comes your way. Also, to give your all and never give up, because through every dark night, there's a bright day after that. In the wise words of Ralph Waldo Emerson, to be yourself in a world that constantly trying to make you something else is the greatest accomplishment. <laughs> Thank you, God bless. Good evening, distinguished guests, senior management, parents and caregivers, teachers and students. My name is Sangin Jan and it has been my privilege serving you as your head prefect this year. 2014 has been a phenomenal year 
And before I can thank anyone in person, I would like to thank God who has blessed us with so much success and such beautiful people. Today, we are here to celebrate the successes of our students, teachers and parents. Today is accumulation of the thousands of hours spent preparing resources, packing lunches, picking and dropping people off, and the immense hours of study. However, today is only possible through our ancestors who came to New Zealand and sacrificed many things to pave our way for success. There are many people I'd like to thank for their hard work this year. Firstly, to our principal, Mr. Ritchie, and the senior management team. When their vision has implemented policies such as the vocational pathways, thank you. For an exceptional 21 years of humility, excellence, and hard work, we thank you. I'd like to also thank my family, who with their sacrifice I stand today speaking. Thank you for the late night feasts at KFC, <laughs> for the endless hours of driving me to places, for giving me great advice, for supporting every decision. Thank you. My congratulations to you, Dad, for being the first customer of Pick and Save Whiskey. <laughs> a special thanks to Mr. Philly, who I wanted to write a poem for. I concluded, however, that that would be a fairly boring thing to think about. <laughs> Thank you for acting as our father, for leading from the front and acting tough, even with sir. <laughs> Today, I have had the pleasure of sharing the load with our dry as biology jokes, cheesy policies like aim flush wipe, and the numerous other jokes has been the reason this year has been so great. I'm so glad we'll be studying the same course next year. My thanks to Hamish, what a great guy, and Sam Sarah, what a lovely lady. Well, alongside the gold badges have sacrificed such a lot of the time. We are truly a part of the brothers. <laughs> to Mr. Garaja, who over the years has donated so much of his time and resources to benefit the school, thank you. To Ms. Loretz and the other music teachers who are present here today, thank you for the great life lessons and the nice Angelo's chicken times. To the teachers who have spent so much of their time in worrying and preparing for resources, thank you. Finally, to you, the students, I'd like to thank you for this opportunity as our prefect over his. It has really been an honor, and I truly just love you. <laughs> to those who I have seen at the gym, and those who will be joining after tonight, remember, it's all about the games. So what makes New Zealand and Messi in general so lovely? Is it that we have security guards for our chocolate milk? <laughs> that Mama is better than Vegemite? Or we that, that we say Axius instead of Askew? <laughs> I truly believe, like the Māori program, he aha te mea nui o te ao, what is the most important thing? He tangata, he tangata, he tangata. It is people, it is people, it is people. Massey is beautiful and unique because of the people. It's not the facilities or the resources that make a school great, but you, the students, teachers, parents, and caregivers. I've always loved you and called you beautiful because you all are a blessing and a bundle of joy to whoever you meet. Who would have thought that that small, chubby, dorky Asian boy in your nine would now be standing here tonight dashing and thanking you for just <laughs> such a prestigious position to such an unworthy candidate. My job has been immensely rewarding and thankfully none of you have made me refer you to a detention. <laughs> it is in the idea of farewell that I've thought about the things that will never change. The seabrook toilets, <laughs> your vibrant personalities, and of course, Mr. Jones's age. <laughs> oh no, watch your back seat, watch your back But with embarking on our new lives will be a roller coaster of change. 
So as a wise friend, as a wise friend once told me, if life is being real mean to you, just look at life and say, Ah, life, what to love. <laughs> Forrest Gump once said that life is like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. And I, for one, completely disagree with this. Firstly, what if you had a box of scorched almonds? <laughs> you know what you're going to get. <laughs> so instead, I've come up with a different quote. Life is like the bench press. <laughs> At first, you don't have any stabilizing muscles and struggle to lift even the bar. But as you work harder and harder, you build resilience. When rates get higher and times are hard, you think everything is impossible, that the bar is going to beat you. Ah, but you have to spot it. Your friends and family who look out for you in the big, bad world. So you li live your life like the bench press. Work hard, play hard, and always know that you aren't alone. So in concluding, congratulations to you, the new gold badges. You represent a new generation of Year 13s, and I am sure you will be perfect for your roles. To the beautiful Year 13s who stand no sit before me, <laughs> do you remember my cheesy line in my literary speech? So let us climb higher and higher until we stand together in heading the fresh mountain air. <laughs> We've finally reached the peak of high school and inhaling a lot of good air, trust me. But there are so many good, more peaks to climb, for we never really reach the highest peak in our lives. But in our journey to climb higher and higher, we build lifelong relationships and live a fruitful life. Thank you for being a part of the best five years of my life. I'm truly going to miss you, and I know you will all do well wherever life takes you. So it is with this I officially sign off as your head boy. Remember, it's all about the mental and physical gains, and as always, keep being beautiful. Thank you. Thank you, Dana and Sung Lin. We wish you well for the future. Thank you for your inspiring leadership this year at Massey High School. I'm sure another round of applause is welcome. Thank you. It is a pleasure to announce the top academic awards for 2014. <coughs> Mr. Ritchie will present these prestigious awards. The top two awards in year 12, prize donated by Centra Print. The award for the second overall in year 12 is Dylan Rand, 12 APA. Dylan is a high achieving scholar. He has already gained his level two NCEA qualification with an excellence endorsement. The accelerated learning pathway has enabled Dylan to be two credits away from gaining his level three qualifications. Dylan is certain to achieve this in the external exams. Dylan's hard work gives him the option of leaving school this year and he will be attending the University of Auckland in 2015. Dylan is described as a well-rounded and down-to-earth student. He has a very mature outlook and is an accomplished composer with considerable skill and musical talent. We hope his time here at Massey High School has been worthwhile and wish him all the best for his future endeavours. Congratulations, Dylan. <laughs> Nadi Naidu Award, top student in year 12,
prize donated by Centra Print. The top student in year 12 is Gordon Heath, 12 APA. Gordon's work ethic is extraordinary. The most common words used in his report comments are dedicated and focused. Gordon has gained 47 credits with excellence. He has his NCEA Level 2 awarded with an excellence endorsement and, in theory, has no need to sit any more Level 2 exams this year. However, we know he will aim for excellence. This year, Gordon has been involved in football, hockey, tonk and orienteering. He was in the Dragon Boating Team. Gordon is a member of the PB4L Student Group. He has been to China and on the Spirit of Adventure Voyage. Gordon has had a highly successful year and deserves all the accolades he has received. Congratulations, Gordon. The Peel Award for the Proxima Akesa, prize donated by Breadcoats Cleaning Services Limited. The Proxima Akesa 2014 is Catherine Webb, 13 years old. Catherine has been the epitome of an academic leader at Massey High School, a performer at the highest level in academic terms, yet one who still involves herself in a wide range of activities. She gained her NCEA Level 1 and 2 certificates with excellence endorsement, including a number of individual subjects endorsed with excellence. To date, she has gained 70 of the 86 Level 3 credits at the excellence level. Alongside her academic success, Catherine has still found time to pursue her interests and achieve in areas outside the classroom. Her love of music and musical performance is an evidence in her being first soprano in the school choir and in her position playing first flute in the orchestra. She is an extremely talented composer. Catherine is also an accomplished stage performer and is captain of the Massey High School fencing team. Catherine is a worthy recipient of the Peel Award Proxima Kessa 2014. Congratulations, Catherine. <laughs> to our highest award of the evening, the School Ducks Award. This award is the Clem Campton Award for the School Ducks. The Clem Campton Ducks Award will be presented by Mr Ritchie, as you can see, and prizes donated by Mr and Mrs Heron. The recipient is Sungman Joy. <laughs> Sungmoon gained his NCEA Level 1 and 2 certificates endorsed with excellence, as well as individual excellence endorsements in every subject he sat in 2012 and 2013. This included excellent endorsements in Level 3 Calculus and Level 3 Chemistry, while he was a Year 12 student. 
To date, he has gained an astonishing 120 of his 129 Level 3 credits at the Excellence level. He attained an NZQA scholarship in music as a Year 12 student and is this year undertaking six further scholarship examinations. This record is made all the more remarkable by his unerring commitment to wide range of extracurricular activities, as well as fulfilling his role as head boy with humility and a deep sense of responsibility he has been involved in a range of activities that are far too numerous to detail. Highlights worthy of mention are that he plays first violin in the Auckland Youth Orchestra. He is in the school orchestra, the production band, the big band, the showcase band, and the sublimitous choir. Sung Min has also performed tirelessly in his role as a peer supporter and has been a presence at homework centres, assisting others in mastering their own studies. He is a supremely talented individual who, while placing great value in his education, he has never lost sight of the importance of balance. His time management skills are extraordinary, and 2014 crowns a remarkable five years. Sung Min, is an inspirational student and only the third student in the Massey High School history to be head boy and dunce. Congratulations, Sungman. Thank you, Mr. Ritchie. Congratulations on our top scholars for 2014. You may clap, please. We have reached the end of our ceremony. Thank you, parents and visitors, for joining us tonight for our celebration of achievement for year 12 and 13 for 2014. The official party will leave the staff out Two grenades by Bruno Mars, Elephon and Hayden. Away you go. Thank you. That's just how you live or oh, take, take, take it all that you never should know that you were sure from the first kiss had your eyes wide open. Why were they open? And I gave you all I had to get tossed it in the trash, tossed it in the trash, but you did. To give me all your love is all I ever had. What you don't understand is I can't keep the name for ya. Take a bullet straight through my brain Just I would die for you, baby
You said you love me, you're alive, but you never. 